guys are coming along really quickly here. Yeah. See the blocks? The blocks are brown. Sand. Didn't even bring the. Well, I have the. I have the. Machete, but the uh, bucket or where do we park here or over in that side? See how far back the waves are breaking now? Oh. Sunny day, but with the wispy clouds. Hanging low. fog that was here last night has not yet lifted even though the sun is like 2 a.m. 2 p.m. in the afternoon lots of people on the beach today enjoying the weather yes plenty of uh, people on the beach Lots of kids, some adults, even the puppies are uh, enjoying. Uh, looks like, looks like some fishermen are on the beach, so. We'll take a walk down the beach. See what they're catching. Wow. I remember these. Fishing light. That's 
so you use these guys use them for Another flashlight, another fishing light. I'm looking at these things and I'm saying, did somebody's fishing boat sink? Somebody boat sink and all of this uh, get washed overboard. Yeah, this is the lens. The lens for the for the net. Oh, oh well. Fishing is a dangerous business, even a dangerous sport. I see people sail past me going out. Half an hour later, the call comes on the radio for the Coast Guard to go pick him up because the boat capsized. So, the ocean respects an old man. Puffer fish <laughs> washed up. All the fish that washed up. Like I said, it looks like somebody's boat capsized. There's so many fish washed up on the water. And yep, tires, clothing. I'm okay, how are you? All right. Look. And these guys here, norm I never seen fishermen going out with a radio here. So, <laughs> hopefully uh, nobody died. Yeah. When I come down to the beach, uh, Occasionally I get some fish from these guys and they get something that I eat. So I saw them down the beach so I decided to walk down and see what they caught and if it's uh, what I can eat. I'll tell you later. Yes. They call these uh, sole here. It is somewhat similar to the, the it's somewhat similar to the sole that what we call sole in Florida. The, the net, man, the net is filled with seaweed. Filled with seaweed. Lots of these small ones here. They cut the tails off. Anybody who ever got hit by one of these tails? <laughs> hey. I don't eat these. Uh, No fish for me today. Look at this one. We didn't eat this in Barbados, look. Right? But they eat this here. Yeah, this is called ladyfish. Ladyfish here. See, this sea moss 
this is the same type we get in the Caribbean, but not the type that we eat, you know? The type that we eat is bigger. It's much bigger. Hey! <laughs> Our sea moss is something similar, but it's bigger. Even snails. But all of this comes up in the net at this time of the year, you know. This thing washed in from the middle of the ocean. Oh, well, no fish today. So, we have some in the refrigerator nevertheless. I just like to keep stocked up because <laughs> there are times in the year, like this time, during Ramadan, fish is very expensive in the Gambia. The same, I can buy 10 kilos of fish, um, like, I don't know, January, February. 2,000, 3,000 Dallas sea. Ramadan, that same amount of fish will cost me four, five thousand. Depends on who I buy it from. So I buy fish, put it in the freezer, stock up, just like when I was home. You know, either buy some fish or I go fishing. If I go fishing, didn't catch any fish, I bought some fish. But in my freezer. Anyway. In Ramadan, everybody is eating fish. And then after Ramadan, there's a celebration, party. Uh, then um, at the end of Ramadan, then you know, fishermen go back to sea in more numbers, and the fish is less expensive. Alright, uh, nevertheless I enjoy the walk down the beach. Nice sunny day. See that all these fish? Normally this is what this is what uh, this smoke fish travels everywhere in the world. I can tell you that. People come to Gambia. Gambians I mean, they come home to Gambia and take this fish, this fish, back to, this smoke fish, back to the U.S. and all over Europe, wherever they came from. All right. Smoke fish and ground nuts. And ground nuts, what we call peanuts. And the ground nuts here caught is better tasting. It tastes different to the ground nuts or uh, peanuts in the U.S. It has to do with the soil. Peanuts in the U.S. is grown with uh, herbicide, pesticides, you know, all kind of uh, stuff that people here don't use. People here use herbicides and pesticides too, but not in quantities that, you know, uh, the Georgia people use on their peanut farms. Anyway, go.
beautiful water there. The water itself looks like uh, around the area where my family came from, Barbie is called Bathsheba. St. John, St. Joseph. But the color of the water, yes. But the waves, man. I mean, much bigger than these. 